I'm Kristen Farnsworth and thanks for joining me today and welcome to my kitchen uh, today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to make body butter and in my case belly butter it's a really great and easy recipe it's just melt and pour there's no emulsification involved which is good for me because I always have trouble with that part so I'm glad that you joined me today I hope that you find this tutorial helpful and for more tips on health and wellness please feel free to visit my blog at sportsbrasandaprons.blogspot.com thanks to get started here's a couple things that you're gonna want to have uh, the first thing is almond oil I actually got this on Amazon.com, but I believe you can find it at most um, health stores. Uh, you might even be able to find it at um, like Walmart or something. I actually bought mine online. Then this is vitamin E oil, which I got at Target. Uh, organic extra virgin olive oil and organic extra virgin uh, coconut oil. Uh, which I got this at Costco and then these are beeswax um, pellets that I got off of amazon.com but you can buy beeswax at a lot of different places here in Colorado you can get it at the vitamin cottage um, natural grocers or you can um, buy beeswax in little blocks at sprouts um, probably Whole Foods as well and then these are my two different uh, essential oils that I'm going to be using. Lavender is really good for scars. So if you are worried about stretch marks or whatnot, this is a really good essential oil to put inside of your um, body butter. And then eucalyptus, I just like the smell of eucalyptus and kind of the cooling sensation that you get with it. So that is why I chose eucalyptus. You can choose any essential oil that you would like. Okay, the first step is to put a jar, a mason jar, inside of a boiling pot of water. And it's going to bounce around a little bit and be kind of loud, but that's okay. You'll notice my jar is dirty. It's because I've used it over and over again, and rather than clean it out each time, I just go ahead and use the same one over and over again. It doesn't hurt anything. And it makes for easy cleanup. Okay, to avoid the loud noise, I'm actually going to go ahead and fill my jar and then put it into the water. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a quarter cup of olive oil. Alright, there's my olive oil. Then I'm going to do a quarter cup of almond oil, and I may not have enough here. If you don't have almond oil, you can use another quarter cup of olive oil. Oh, looks like I'm going to just barely make it. Okay, so here's my almond oil. Okay. Then I've got my coconut oil. and we're going to do two tablespoons of beeswax, two level tablespoons. Okay, now I'm ready to put my jar inside my boiling water and we're going to give it a swirl every couple of minutes until it's all melted together. I almost forgot my vitamin E oil, so let's go ahead and do a teaspoon. You can hear my jar hopping around in the pot. Okay, I think it's mostly melted now. Beeswax is really hard to get off of things, so I suggest that you just swirl it around inside your jar instead of trying to, to stir it with a spoon because it's 
crazy hard to get off of a spoon. So we took out our melted oils here. Now we need to add in our essential oil. So I'm going to do lavender and eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is really strong, so I'm going to do about five drops of eucalyptus. And for lavender, I like a lot of lavender. I like to really be able to smell it for the calming um, sensation of it when you're putting it on your body. So I'm going to put about 30 drops of lavender in. All right, and that smells fantastic. So then we're gonna swirl this around a little bit. And now we're ready to pour it. Let's see how hot that is. Not too bad. All right, so let's pour it into our containers. Wow, look at that, that was like perfect. All right, and now we just let it cool, and then we get to use it. This is some that I previously made, and you can see that it's very butter-like in texture, and that's why I call it body butter. You can put a little bit more beeswax in it if you prefer more of a salve. Um, and of course, the less beeswax you put in it, the more soft that it's going to become, but this is about the consistency that I like to use. 